right? Dope Air Magazine exclusive. Um, on on uh, secret location with my big bro, um, a legend. You know what I'm saying? Um, definitely a person that's very instrumental and monumental in the the culture of uh, hip hop. You know what I'm saying? A DJ, um, a motivator, an innovator, someone that uh, does has a lot of you know what I'm saying hats. You know what I'm saying? I'm with none other than DJ Motherfucking Fresh. What's happening, big bro? What's up? What's poppin'? You feel me? Um, we live, you feel me? Um, you know, last, you know, we done like two interviews, you know what I'm saying? Well, both of you did, both of them with Big Bro. Um, so, this time, um, I want to talk about what moves you got for 2017. Um, and what new tonight shows you got coming, because I know you got, I know you just dropped the one with Sally Rue. Um, I know you did the one with Ezel. I know you uh, announced you got another Tonight Show coming, but I'm gonna let you just talk. Go ahead, do your thing. Uh, my two, basically, um, you know, everything is kind of like extra credit because the whole 2016 I was making projects for 2017. So, you know, this year I got Rider J Clyde coming out the 21st. Then next month I got Lil Blood coming out, you know what I'm saying? Then the month after that, I got uh, 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 Jay Stalin. And then after that, I got this Tonight Show with uh, Mitchie Slick and, and Jay Worthy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Rugging Drugs. And uh, I got, I got, shit, no, I got, I got a list. And I got uh, Chippers, Tonight Show with Chippers. Yeah, that's gonna go hard. I got uh, Rich Rocker. You know what I'm saying? Your oh yeah, I did, I did, I did see you with the flick with that. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Then um, it's a cat named uh, uh, Lucky Luciano from Texas. I'm working with him. Um, Baby Bash. So oh, you got you got some coming with Baby Bash. Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, tonight show with Huss. Now that one gonna be Yankee. Yeah. That's Yankee Doodle right there. You feel me? That's yeah, yeah. Tremendo. Yeah, just then, just you know, just trying to just you know. Stay 20 steps ahead, not 10. Yeah. 20. Okay. And um, just stay ahead of myself. Stay working, you know what I'm saying? Just stay focused. Just uh, stay working. Yeah. So, um, what inspired you to go so hard? Like, you know what I'm saying? That you do. Because we all, like, we see you on, we, we seen um, in 2016, we seen you on tour with Grouch. Yeah. Doing your thing. Uh, we seen you, like, posting a little video clips, you know, you taking, uh, you know, uh, the boom, the booming system and, yeah. you know, playing it for the crowd. I think you did, um, I, I think you posted a video with, uh, you were doing it with Super Mario beat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit went crazy. Um, sure. So, like, what inspires you to continue doing shit like that? Like, be creative, you know what I'm saying? Be free. Be yourself. Man, it's just, I don't know. I just be, I just be on autopilot, you know what I mean? Like, it just come out of me. I don't even gotta think about it. To me, it, to me, it's as easy as breathing. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I don't even think about it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like we was in the studio yesterday. We was in the studio yesterday, and, and literally while Bitchy Slick is in the lab, coming up with the bridge of a song, I'm working on a whole nother beat, and and damn near finish it. And then he, and then uh, Jay Worthy, he just finished his verse. He's sitting on the couch. I'm like, bro, listen to this real quick. You know what I'm saying? And then. He get done, and then we work on that. Finish that, <laughs> and then do another one. You know what I mean? So, so is it organic? Is it organic? Uh, you know, thing what you do? Cause I, I mean, I watched you work. Like I've actually sat down and watched you uh, do uh, live from four five with my brother. Yeah. And that just, you know, I, I seen how you, you know, organically did that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Boom, stop right there. You know what I'm saying? This right here. Yeah. But is it? How how can I say this? Um, is it? I'll say timing, you know, you've been putting in years, so you know what to look for, what not to look for, you know, you, you know what, you know. It's a little bit of that, it's just, I just love it, I just love the game, man, I just, yeah. you know what I mean, it's like, it's like a high for me, I guess, it's just, I just, I just love it, like, I'd rather spend the night in the studio just working, making beats than to do a lot of other things, you yeah. know what I mean, like, I, I done spent many of my birthdays in the studio just, you know what I'm saying, and love it, you know what I mean, like, yeah. it's just, you feel me, and it's and it's it's like the, it's like the gift that's always gonna give back. You feel me, so you might as well, you feel me, utilize your God-given talent. And then when I'm around people, it's like I draw out their energy too, and they feed off of mine. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that's what's up. So um, also, um, you went live the other day. Um, 
and you went through the computer. I got just you, man. Up some files. No, you put up some files. <laughs> oh, oh, you was oh. you were showing. <laughs> You were showing like the um you was like, Oh, you want me to work with Mozzie? I've been did that shit. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you were some yeah. you know, you pulled up the track, yeah. um, Black Boy. Um yeah, yeah, you yeah. pulled up some other stuff as well. Um by going live, you know what I'm saying, do you feel like the viewers actually get to actually see you behind the scenes, the things that they don't, you know, understand or get to see yeah. because they only just see just the finished products? Right, right, right. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I don't do it all the time. I've probably only done it like like four or five times, but I do like that interaction. Like it's live, like they seeing everything right then and there. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like it ain't no editing or whatever. So it's like, you know what I mean? I like, I, I like, I like that energy. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, you know, we already in a world where like we all are so accessible. Yeah. You know what I mean? At the palm of your hand at any given time. So, you know, I don't full fledged indulge into it. I kind of just like. Tap it a little bit, dip in, dip out. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, I definitely okay, love well, uh, love the live thing. Like, I'm gonna mess with it a little bit more. Like I might, I might go live okay. tonight. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, what, what is the, you know, um, what else can we also expect from Fresh? I know you have the booming systems, the mini booming systems. Yeah. Um, do you think that, you know, um, with other people in the Bay Area trying to come up with apps and all that kind of stuff. Do you think that there will be like a DJ Fresh game that you can buy on your, you know, iPhone, a tablet, or your Android, you know, where you can actually play with beats or something like that? Like, are you thinking about doing that? Um, I mean, I got, I mean, uh, I mean, I got, I got, I got a couple of ideas, but like, I'm going more into uh, trying to develop like, like drum machines. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Or, or or programs on how to make production. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stand in the tech world, you know what I mean? Yeah. So but yeah, I'm definitely thinking about like other business endeavors that I could dibble and dabble to. But I, I just wanna do something that's like an extension of me that makes sense yeah. for me. You know what I'm saying? Not there's anything wrong with people who, you know, do things that ain't got nothing to do with them. But like for me, I just wanna do things that make sense to me. That's an extension of DJ Fresh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Alright, so um What's been your honest? What's been your top five memorable albums that you actually worked on? That just top five. Oh, I know you have so many. I know you have so <laughs> many. I know. I know people will be watching this and be like, "Oh, you ain't say my name," but yeah. I just want to know, like, <clears throat> from your perspective, what has been a top five in the DJ Fresh catalog? I mean, I always gotta say the Fab one because that was the very first one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, definitely the Ezel one, like the Ezel one. Oh, the Ezel one. That did really good. That did you know like super good as far as like just like the uh like the, the publicity that it got and like it opened the door to like the double XLs and not like double XL said that I was one of the third the thirty best producers. Oh yeah, this I saw that did we you did see that, mean? you know what I'm saying? Just like you know, so the Ezel one was a was a good and and like Ezel was like, you know, the next generation, you know what I mean? And so it was it, it was as good it was as good timing, you yeah. know what I mean? Um the Mozzie one, because Mozzie's first project as Mozzie was a Tonight Show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was only two years ago, or maybe three years ago now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, man, I only got five. The Jacka was, you know what I mean? Yeah. The Jacka one was like a, a turning point in my career, and unfortunately, he's not here with us anymore. But it was yeah. like, that was a, that was a that was a big one too. You know what I'm saying? And like, and I'm not gonna say just because these brothers in the room. But my nigga Mitchie Slick and, and this Jay Worthy project is a big one to me too because it's like I was just telling him earlier, it's like like he from Compton, and Mitchie from San Diego, I'm from the Bay, and I just was like, man, I don't think it's ever been a project where it was just that much of a West Coast connection like that, yeah. like a Bay a, a Bay cat, a Dago nigga, you feel me, and a, and a Compton nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because uh, I think the I think, um, well, from my perspective, I can say. Uh, the Jackets Tonight show when um, like I posted the other, the other night um, he reposted it um, that song ain't a, you know ain't about yeah. no dough yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably you know what I'm saying so yeah. mm -hmm. I think that you know what I'm saying like that you know what I'm saying like when you hear some shit like that and it's, it's organic it's not you can tell it's not forced yeah. you know what I'm saying so I think that right there is like for me I like hearing other people outside the Bay. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I love, you know, I love the Bay. Don't get it twisted. But I like hearing 
other voices, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, oh, how you coming? You know, is he coming yeah. fast? Is, is, is fast rhythm? Is he coming slow rhythm? Like, that's just me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, for the, I think for the fans, it's going to be organic. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, they, they, DJ Fresh, Mitchie Slick, they both just played me, um, a song I can't I, I, they told me I can't disclose it yeah you gotta you know? hold on man you but you, you know what I'm saying for me it, it did sound good I, I liked it the, the beat the melody you know what I'm saying the chords so definitely for sure. you know, you know for I sure. think that I think that should be your first single and we actually about to do the video for it tonight man so, okay so uh you know I'm, I'm camera ready <laughs> oh, hold on hold on man you know, you know that is, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. <laughs> man. You know they try to turn up. <laughs> they try to turn up. <laughs> yeah, and I know you said five, but but the Freddie Gibbs one definitely too. Okay. Was a, was a, I really like that one too? That was a big one too, cause um you know that's when I started branching out uh, uh, out of this region, out of yeah. the California region, and started you know hitting up the different regions in the United States where. Jeez. Okay, so in one of our um, previous interviews, you said you always wanted to do a, a, a Tonight Show with Mac Dre. Oh yeah, that's now awesome. I gotta I gotta ask you this question: Is it a way that you can work off previously recorded songs and just create new beats around that? Uh, I mean, or it just wouldn't feel right. It, yeah, it wouldn't be right. Like okay. I don't want, I don't want to Tupac Mac Dre. You know what I'm <laughs> like, it ain't, and yeah. I'm sure I could have a blessing from Kilo. And, yeah. And Mac Wanda and all that, but it's like you know, some things, some things is just to me. Yeah. You know I mean, some things is just better left alone. You know yeah. what I mean? Rest in peace, Mac Dre. All right. So, um, what's what's next for DJ Fresh, man? Uh, I mean, if we gonna if we gonna go on tour. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm I'm trying to carry a few bags. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I trip it. I put in my work. You know what I'm saying? I earn my keep. Uh, man. Yeah. As far as tours, I mean, I ain't got nothing planned right now. Um. You know, it's still the beginning of the year, though. We're still in January, you know, so yeah. I'm sure I'm sure things will come about and opportunities will come about. But, but yeah, like I said, for right now, I'm just focused on these projects right now and, um, you know, just just some more of it, man, you know what I'm saying? Doing it better than I did last year and just, you know, just keep stepping up the quality. You know, I'm all about high quantity of high quality. <laughs> you feel me? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, what what advice would you give to an up and come, coming uh, producer? You know what uh, I'm saying? That's actually watching this, and you know he, that they actually, you know, because I, I know the people actually do say things when I, I, I look when I go on live feed. I see, oh, you know, you how you make that? What are you using? Da, da, da. Yeah, I see that, and you know what I'm saying. I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying. Like, um, what advice would you give to them? You know what I'm saying. Like, would you tell them, you know, what I'm saying to continue going? You know what I'm saying can. You know, start off with a week, you know, um, keyboard, you know what I'm saying, and upgrade, you know, I want you, I mean, what advice would you give to somebody? Man, in 2017, I would just say, get off that phone, man, and get on them keyboards, man. These phones is distractions, man. Get off the phone. Get off the phone and, and perfect your craft, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk, like, the time that you spend on your phone is the time you could be, like, perfecting your craft. Like, we all get caught up in it, you know what I mean? But I'm just saying, like... You know what I'm saying? Like focus, you gotta stay you gotta stay focused and again you wanna have high quantity of high quality. Especially in two thousand seventeen when you know what I'm saying niggas is dropping dropping albums quicker than niggas is dropping pictures on Instagram. Yeah. You That's feel crazy. me? It's two thousand albums <laughs> that come out every Tuesday and Friday. You feel me? So that would be that would be my advice. And also just like uh just do you, just tap into your uniqueness, you know what I'm saying? We all unique, so don't try to be like nobody else, you know, do your do yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't be scared to be yourself. And the more you keep doing that, it's like a muscle. It'll just get stronger and stronger. You feel me? And it ain't going to be quick, neither. So, yeah. that's what, that would be my advice. That's what I did. And that's what I'm still doing. All right. And in 2016, you did uh, courses for, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> um, I think it was like a small, intimate, like, thing, 10, 20 people? Yeah, I'm going to do some more. Okay, yeah. you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to do some more DJ Fresh workshops. I'm going to do some more this year. All right. For sure, so look out for that. All right, you know what I'm saying? So you heard it here first, though, you know what I'm saying? You hear it no First, matter, man. You know what I'm saying? Dope Air, you know what I'm talking first, about? First, man. It's my first <laughs> interview of the year, man. Dope Air, man. <laughs> you feel Three me? Three times. Yeah, you know I'm saying? Three times, you feel me? Just like his name, you feel me? Make sure you follow that man on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? On DJ Twitter, Fresh, you feel DJ me? DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh. Any last words for the people, Fresh, man? Uh, yeah, man, just, you know, just stay positive, man, you know what I'm saying, keep the positive energy around you, 
you know what I'm saying, and uh, believe in yourself, you know what I'm saying, uh, stay away from the naysayers, man, there's plenty of naysayers out here, man, stay away from all that, you know what I'm saying, and uh, just keep it pushing, that's it. Yes, love. <laughs>